gain is to go up because Audacity hates me. Um, you want to speak right into it. All right. Um, I am recording, right? Audacity's going. Recording's going. Good. I don't want to do this. I don't want to have to do Pokemon again. For some reasons, Pokemon is like the worst game for me to re-record. All right, where the fuck am I? Um, right. I believe... Actually, I learned something when I was uh, looking things up. It's that it's a hidden item. There it is. Sunstone. This is randomized. I think normally it's a rare candy, but um, yeah, just I was I forget what I was doing. I was either looking up Celadon City after last part or something. But the one thing I remember <laughs> after I recorded last part was that um, there was an item in the back of that house. Um, so we did Nugget Road. That's good. Now we still gotta make our way to Bill. If I recall, these people aren't as strong, or won't be as strong as, um... Oh, good. Yeah, this seems about right. Uh, they won't be as strong as, um... Ooh, what do I have for item? Did I... Oh, no, I, I put that on there. Okay. Um... They shouldn't be as strong as the gym. So here's my thing. Why am I fighting, like, level 16, 15 trainers, and I cut a level 7 Pokemon? It's not helpful at all. Like, make them at least comparable. Make it, like, level 10 or 12 or something. Come on. Also, that's definitely where uh, the person who has Charmander is in yellow. Anyway, welcome to part 5? Question mark? I don't know. Just got time for Mount Moon, but I still got gas in the tank. It's weird. Um, I gotta point out next time. But for the hikers, I always thought, like, the pack on their back, like, the brown, like, I don't know if it's, like, a duffel bag or something, or, like, a sleeping bag. I thought it was, like, a mullet on the dude's hair. Um, <laughs> it's weird, but that's always what I thought of. All right. Um, let's go to Reptar. I really do want to turn him into Pubitar. I just want to get it over with. That's not, that's not great. Um... So yeah, it's been a, like two weeks since I recorded the last one. I haven't recorded much at all. Well, that's not true. I've recorded a lot, but not a lot has been released. Um, yesterday I recorded Kingdom Hearts, and then I recorded two Digimon videos. Started with Digimon World 2, just to get it out of the way. And I'm fucking glad I did, because it was a piece of shit, and I'm so glad it's done. Um, I just bitched and moaned for about half an hour. I hope you guys will enjoy it. Uh, and then Digimon DS, I, I recorded and I enjoyed. It was difficult to set up, like really difficult to set up. I'm not looking forward to editing either of those videos because I realized after that I didn't save. or uh, Not that I didn't save, but that I didn't sync. So the video and audio are messed up. And that's even worse uh, with Digimon World DS because there's, three, there's two screens I have to sync up and audio. And I'm not looking forward to that one bit. So when those videos come out... And like, oh, Nick, the audio is slightly off. Or, oh, Nick, the screens are blah, blah, blah. Oh, Look at I used to think that was, like, part of his hair. Like, the... the or the little, uh... Thing on the top of his backpack. I don't know why. I just kind of did... I looked quickly. Not that his regular beard isn't ridiculous enough. Um... No, but yeah, I, um... If anybody complains, I'm just gonna say, fuck you. I... <laughs> I don't care. I was... It's, I'm not gonna record an entire part again, because the audio isn't synced up. It was a mistake I realized as soon as I finished. Well, as soon as I finished DS. Uh, and I don't want to deal with it. I thought I had more time to record today, but I didn't. I technically only have one class, but um, my roommate was home the whole day. And um, it's in the living room, laughing, watching TV and stuff like that, which... Thin walls. Um, you would have been able to hear him. It would have been... I didn't want to disturb him. I, th he was, I think he was nice enough. He came back when I was recording Digimon DS yesterday, and um, I th he was nice enough just to go in his room. And I was like, I didn't want. I was like wrapping up. I didn't want him to like have to do that, but um, he did it without me asking or anything. Just clearly, I think he he might know that I don't like like I prefer when there's no one there. But I don't know. I haven't quite figured out a schedule yet, so I don't know like when the best time to record is. Um, I know he he goes out and gets dinner and he'll like eat at the place whereas when I get dinner I just like um you know I'll grab it and then uh, I'll come back to my room because I'm a grown man I don't want to have to eat with um eat by myself in a, in a cafe and I also don't like scheduling with friends hey you want to eat 
No, all right? It's like a weekly thing. I live in apartments, so it's not a dorm, like, mostly separated. I don't want to have to be like, oh, you know, are you guys going to be here at this time? I want to I eat then. Well, no, it's stupid. I'd just grab my shit, eat it, and come back. I don't want to have to talk to people. <laughs> not after class. Um, I can talk about my uh, classes. I um, finally sorted out the independent study thing, which uh, if you don't... If you hadn't heard, um, I was uh, at the towards the end of last semester, this was back in April, I um, uh, ended up talking to my advisor and I was saying like, yeah, the course is offered next semester. There's only like one or two like I'm really interested in and I still need like a bunch of credits and this school just isn't offering courses that like are going into like what I want to do. And um, he was nice enough to, to like be like, oh, well, here's an independent study. Basically, you take a class that's not being offered and, you know, you can write a, get a syllabus going for it and then you can just like do it on your own sort of like class of one you report to an advisor um and you know can sort out that way and he offered to be my advisor for it so flash so then i had to get signatures from him which he just gave right away the uh head of the english department and the head of or the dean of arts and sciences i could not for the fucking life of me get in contact with the head of the english department like he just would not respond to emails i could never find him in his office so I just like, when the semester ended, I was just like, I just don't have a signature. So it was up in the air whether I was going to be able to take the class or not. Or whether I was going to be able to do the study, I should say. And um, he, I finally like, he finally responded to one of my emails once I got back. And I ended up getting a signature from him yesterday. Um, was it yesterday? It might have been, t no, it was definitely yesterday. And um, I got his signature and then I went to... Um, uh, oh my god, I'm, I'm drawing a blank here. And then I went, this is, this is a really annoying thing. So I went on the other side of um, the English building, which I've been in plenty of times, but the side I was going on was um, the, uh, um, it was like past the psychology department and stuff like that, so I didn't, didn't really know that much. And I was looking for the Dean of Arts and Sciences, and in, <laughs> there was this big metal door, or this big, like, painted yellow door, but it was metal, that said, uh, Dean of Arts and Sciences, room 397, which is where I need to get to. And, um, I was trying to, like, I was looking at it, I was just like, it's just, like, a big, it's like one big heavy door, so I was just kind of like, I don't, do I just walk in, do I knock, like, what do I do? So, naturally, being the introvert I am, I sat down at a table near and just waited, Waited for someone to come out and see what I could do. Because uh, I thought it was just like the dean's office. Like, I just thought like he had an office there and I guess the door was closed. Either he wasn't there. Like, there was no window on the door, so I couldn't see in. I, th I figured either he wasn't there or he just didn't want to be disturbed. I'm like, all right, let's wait and see if he comes out. And eventually, I, he did go to the bathroom and I saw him. And um, I was just, and this is how stupid it was. I was going to wait for him to come out of the bathroom. And then I was just going to, like, follow it. I was going to be like, oh, excuse me, professor. But, um, yeah, I didn't have to do that. Because then th three girls walked up uh, as he was in the bathroom. And they came in. They, they went to the door, saw the door, and I just opened it. Like, they didn't question it or anything. They just walked right in. And then this is right as the dean was, like, coming out. And then I realized the big metal door, despite looking like it led to an office... In fact, led to several offices and led to like a secret. There was a secretary there, and there was like four offices around the secretary. And I was just like, I didn't realize there was this fucking hidey hole of like a bunch of different offices. I thought this was just one dude, and he was just like trying not to be disturbed or something. And I felt really dumb because um, I easily could have avoided it. I wasn't waiting that long. It was like twenty minutes, um, maybe maybe half an hour. But I was just like, I can't believe. Like I knew. As I was doing, I was like, this doesn't seem right. I should probably just walk in. I was just like, no, I'll be really awkward about it. I don't know how long I would have waited had those girls not walked in. Or I don't know if I would have approached the dean after. I just, like, it's such an awkward position to be in. I was just like, I don't I don't want any part of this. Um, so that happened. Um, 
That was classes. So that covers the independent study. And then the other classes I'm taking this semester are um, Black Studies with my advisor, who I've taken for two playwriting classes and Black Cinema. Um, guess what Guess what? Uh, race he is? No, I'm kidding. Um, he's, an, he's half black, half, um, I think it's Massasoit Indian. It's one of the M ones. I can't remember what it is. Um, uh, I said Native Americans, right? I didn't say Indians, because that would have been super fucking offensive. Um, but yeah, really cool dude. And, um, the whole, <laughs> this is weird, but the whole class is basically, um, the whole Black Studies class is pretty much just telling us how a lot of shit in history has been glossed over, and how there's a lot of shit, like, to this day, that just, like, kind of, how do I put it, that he just kind of lies, like, not the government, but, like, authority figures will just lie about, and stuff like that, it's basically the get, the stay woke class, like, fucking, I keep thinking, every time I come out of the class, I'm just, like, filling my head with, like, oh, I feel like a conspiracy theorist, where it's, like, the world's out to get me, and everything's keeping me down, because growing up poor, it's pretty much, I mean, American history is basically based on this way anyway, but... I don't like that. Um, but originally, um, this I knew beforehand. I knew this from uh, just History 101, like super basic stuff. But um, when America was first founded, they had an indentured servitude system. And um, I don't know if I can beat this thing. I'm very worried. I should sleep it. Um, so they had the indentured servitude system, which was you would have someone work for you. They would work for you for a set, set amount of years. And when they were done, you would, like, set them up and give them tools, and, like, they would have the skills to, like, go out on their own. At that time, it was just, like, basically a trick to trick poor people into working for people who weren't poor. Um, and then there was, you know, revolts, uh, and when people tried to, like, you know, um, they sh I'm doing a very terrible job of explaining this, but they tried to, um... They tried to revolt because the conditions were unfair, and they once their time was up, they weren't like actually preparing them for like the world, and um, you know. And then basically they just shifted it to, to be racist instead, where it's just like, oh, all the poor people are united against us. Well, let's just fucking turn them on each other, and they introduced race into the big thing, where it's just like, and that's that's actually how slavery started in America. We we didn't it like. The country didn't start off with slavery. It was, like, developed. Like, after indentured servitude, we just, like, upgraded to slavery. Which is a thing not a lot of people know. At least in the U.S. Uh, and I think this was after slavery had ended everywhere else in the world. <laughs> We're a pretty backwards-ass country. Um, but, yeah, it was, um... So it's basically, like, most of the things the government does is, you know, in order to kind of... I'm not going to say keep the masses down, but, like, sort of, sort of keep them content and not really let them advance that much. I mean, a lot of that is conspiracy theory stuff, and a lot of it is, um, you know, there's some basis to it. But I always walk out of the class feeling like a goddamn conspiracy theorist. And I hate that. I hate, like, don't get me wrong, I'm not satisfied with my country. Look at our fucking presidential race right now. That doesn't make me unpatriotic. I mean, I'd rather live here than anywhere else, but I'm allowed to criticize my country. I don't know, how did, how did I get here? God, I should not talk about this class. Anyway, it's black studies, so it's learning more about, it's basically learning about black and poor people. So, it's, you know, entertaining. Not entertaining, I'm sorry. It's knowledgeable. I like going there. It is entertaining, because he's a good professor. But, um, growing up poor, I, uh, I don't know, did I mention that? Did I mention I grew up poor? I, I don't know. I relate to the, a lot of the stuff in the class. Um, but, so that's Black Studies. I'm also taking Spanish, which I am woefully ill-equipped to take Spanish, and I don't want to keep taking it. I really don't. <laughs> I'm so fucking done with it. Um, I have this semester and another semester of Spanish, and that'll be four semesters of Spanish, two years. And I don't, I don't want to. I, I'm not going to remember it after. I already know I'm not going to. I don't want to remember it. I'm just like, I understand the applications of Spanish. What I don't like is that I'm basically being forced to take it. 
Um, I could have taken another language, but it's like Spanish was the easiest one to pick up. Alright, can I not- can I stop missing with every single fucking attack? Like, seriously. Is it because- did they reduce my accuracy? Smoke ball. That's right. So, the, I'm kind of screwed here. I can't use tackle. I can try leech seed. That might help. Nope, nothing. I can't hit him with anything. I have to switch Pokemon out. I didn't want to use Tyranitar because, um... He's paralyzed. And I was too lazy to heal it. But, alright. So, he's unaffected by... Uh, tackle, which means he's ghost type. So, bite should do some damage to him. There we go. Maybe he wasn't ghost. What else isn't affected by normal types? Anyway, um... So then I'm taking Spanish, and it's, um... This semester is weird so far, and that's... He does the thing. If you've taken Spanish or any language before, and you've taken, like, a number of classes, they always do the thing where it's like, Alright, this semester I'm only gonna speak in this language, blah 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 blah. And it's like, the second day, it's like, half the stuff is explaining in English. They never hold it up. They, like, never, like, stay doing that. Like... In my experience, because this is why it's bullshit, because I've taken plenty of language classes, which is why it's annoying that I have to take like a full equivalency thing. Like I took Spanish in middle school, I took it in 7th and 8th grade, and then I took it freshman year, I think I barely passed, and then 10th grade I just didn't take it. Because I was like, I because um, the reason I barely passed is I took a lot of time off of school. Um, and I was just like, I don't... <laughs> So, like, I didn't want to go back to Spanish because I struggled so much with it because I missed a lot of the classes. And, um, so I didn't take it in 10th grade. Because uh, you were only required to take three years of a language. I was kind of just hoping by then people would forget and I wouldn't have to take it. I was awful in high school. I was just, like, the w I just, I got pretty bad grades. Like, I never failed any class. But I came pretty fucking close with D's and C's. Which back then I thought was okay, which is not. Do not get. If you're in high school, don't aim for D's and C's, despite what TV's, TV shows may tell you. You can knock it into college if you get D's and C's. Learn that the hard way. Um, but no, so like, I didn't. I never enjoyed language classes because it just doesn't come naturally to me. Um, it's There's a few things I'm not good at. I can be good at science if I'm interested in it. Math, I can. I'm good at if I come to every fucking class. If I don't, the second I lose a class in math, I'm just like, I have no idea what's going on anymore. Um, good, I like having another type of a uh, move. But uh, no, so I took, and then in 11th and 12th grade, I took French 1 and French 2. So I took a little bit of Spanish, enough like our new basic stuff, and a little bit of um, French, again, enough for our new basic stuff. And then I get to to the college men and they're like, oh yeah, you need uh, the equivalent of, you know, four semesters of the same language. I'm like, fuck this. And at the time, I probably could have taken the Spanish equivalency test and like passed up to at least like 102. But I was convinced I wouldn't know enough. Like, I was convinced that like, if I tried to jump over to 102, then I would have no fucking background and I would just fail 102. So, instead I ended up going. And uh, that was not fun. Uh, so that was, I've done two semesters. My first semester I got an A, because, you know, I'd taken it before. I knew enough where it was just like all the basic stuff, it was, I, it was all still in my brain. Then 102 I struggled a little bit more with, because this was starting to get into the stuff I hadn't learned. Um, or just like was really rusty on. And then, now in 201 I'm very worried, because it's definitely all new territory. And I don't take it seriously. <laughs> I'm hoping I can just skirt by, where I can just, like, if I just do the homework, which is all... Basically, the homework is online. There's activities. It's, like, one of those ones where you can, um... This is the worst. I'm confused and paralyzed. Fuck you, Magnemite. Um, if I... I'm hoping that if I just... Oh, right, I have Volt Absorb. I should have done this in the first place. Um, if you, The way the homework works is that you take it, and it gives you three attempts, and then it shows you the answers after each attempt. So basically, you just copy and paste the entire all the answers, and then re-enter them uh, on your second attempt, and then you complete the homework. I'm hoping that'll be enough to uh, pass the class. It was enough before, um, but yeah, if not, then I might have to pay attention more. I don't know. I just don't like it. I just can't get into it, and I'm, I hate that I have to take so much of it. Like with math, at least I only have to take one semester here, and like I I don't 
I'm not bad at math. It's just like I just don't care about the higher like applications of it. Like beyond basic algebra, I just I don't care. There's no reason. I'm not going to use it in everyday life. And that is a bad outlook to have for school, but it's the outlook I've always had. Um, so I don't know, I'm not excited about Spanish. And then the last class I have is a seminar. Um, the whole seminar is basically teaching me how to build a website, um, and I get English credit for it, so that's cool. Um, but yeah, it's teaching me to use Drupal. And if anyone has used Drupal, please leave comments and tell me what to, things you wish you knew when you started it. Uh, it's supposed to be the hardest program to build a website with. Uh, so event, but I do think eventually I'll build a website for Wrath of Zalus. I know Spencer's already made one before, but um, I'd like to build it from the ground up, and uh, I don't know, maybe put some other stuff on there. But it can't hurt. Like it's not. It's it's a 400 level course, which you need at least one of to graduate, and it's just you know, building a website is a pretty useful skill to have. And apparently, if you can build on Drupal, you can build on anything. All right, this person has Mudkip and Chikorita. They're clearly trading with themselves. They have two DSs and they're trading between their two copies of the game. They probably have Fire Red and Leaf Greens so they can get all the Pokemon. But they use the dupe starters. Basically cheaters. Not basically, huge cheaters. But yeah. Uh, but that's the basis of it. I mean, the, the seminar is all supposed to teach you how to get a job or like have you pick careers, and that'll be difficult because I still don't know what I want to do. I have ideas, but none of them are like traditional careers, you know. One may be, I don't know if you guys have heard of this crazy thing called YouTube. I was really looking forward to trying that, <laughs> but it's not taking off. People's not, people just aren't, um, they aren't down for the memes and all the cool stuff, so. I don't know. I'm going to have to get a real job, and then I'll probably have to retire the YouTube channel. It'll be really sad. Or I won't. Who knows? Basically threatening all of you. It's like, please help or I'll stop. Oh, I hate this move. Um, really easy way to counter it though. Just swap someone out. Uh, kind of works the same way confusion works. Um, where if you... Oh, right, and you can't use it on me. That's actually helpful. Yeah, I, I don't know if people knew this. Probably, but... If you ever get confusion, or if you get like stat debuffs, like if your stats get lowered or high, like it, or not higher, but if they lower your stats, uh, like with Growl or Tail Whip or something, or if you get confusion, if you just swap a Pokemon out and swap them back in, then those those statuses go away, because the game isn't like equipped to keep track of them. Uh, they only keep track of like the big ones, like Sleep and Poison and stuff like that. The more you poke, no. Um, what else? I was I talked. I already. I don't want to repeat things I've talked about in videos, but I um. I talked a lot about what I did this weekend in the Digimon World DS part. Um, I want to want it to be all fresh content when I release it next week. Um, you know, nice and fresh when it's like two weeks old. Um. Yeah, I don't really want to talk about it. I thought I could have sworn these two. Were. Escape is a famous date spot. I see the gym leader has high hopes about this place. Is that a dig at how in gold you can like come here and like basically interrupt their date? Are you here alone? If you're out, it's really capable. It should be as a couple. That's weird. Also, there's like in gold and silver, there's like a little cliff here. That's where you find Suicune for the fi final time. All right. Well, doesn't look like there's anybody in here. Lots of computers and stuff. And apparently. The machine from the fly with Jeff Goldblum. Mm, well, all right, that's it. No, can you imagine? I think I did that as a kid. I didn't realize I was supposed to talk to a Pokemon. I am that Pokemon. No, I'm not. Can we build? I'm a true blue Pokemon. I was a skeptical look. I'm not joshing you, pal. I'm not joshing you, pal. Oh man, I'm so glad. I'm I'm very clearly playing a children's game when the the dialogue is like this. Screwed up an experiment, you're combined with Pokemon, so how about it? Help me out here. Yes, wait till I get inside the teleporter. When I do, go to my PC and run the cell separation system. Did he give me the option to help him? Where you can say yes or no? I remember one of the rumors as a kid was that if you said no seven times and then said yes, he would give you a Mew as helping him. Just one of those stupid word of mouth. Um, and also, how would I know how to do this? Just one of those stupid uh, word of mouth. Uh, 
things that like the whole thing about the truck and all that the like Mew rumors when you actually could get Mew in the base version of Red just had to basically do something no one would do it is right around here too yeehaw thanks bud I owe you one so did you come to see my Pokemon collection you didn't that's a bummer I've got to thank you oh here maybe this will do it's a cruise ship it's, I hear there are lots of trainers on board they invited me to their party but I can't stand fancy deuce why don't you go instead of me go on and have a good time I didn't realize Bill was such a fucking loser uh, there should be a shortcut around here. I think there's an item at the end of it, too. And I thought there was an item over here. Nope, guess not. I've been deceived. Uh, f did the policeman move? Did all you have to do is talk to Bill? Oh, wow. I could have sworn you had to fight Misty first. Um, so if you talk to... They stole a TM for digging Pokemon to take holes. I was going to use that man gear change. I can't remember. I guess I think you get it after beating the Team Rocket Grunt, but I want to heal first. Um, he should not be stronger than Misty, to my knowledge. All right. Okay, let's uh, let's beat him. Then we'll beat Misty. That should be enough for one part. Uh, I, I hate the ones where it feels like I haven't moved, but I just fight a fuck ton of trainers. Um. Hey, stay out. It's not your yard, huh? Me? This is bystander. Don't you believe me? Not even a little bit. You're dressed in a Team Rocket uniform. Cop Marcellus. I forgot that joke. That all the Team Rocket grunts are actually cops. Oh, the irony. Or coincidence. I don't know. One of those two. Brick break. Good. I like this. I like it less now. Alright. Nope. Please don't put me asleep. Ugh, damn it, just... I didn't... What moves did I just use? I had no intention to use it. Oh my god, stop. Like, I keep going up too much. There we go. Let's use Growlithe. Uh, yeah, normally this would be a bad idea, but... Now I'm a ghost type, so it's fine. Poison. I like the idea of me poisoning trainer's Pokemon. Oh, fuck you. God, you're the worst. I hate that move so much. I could just keep biting him, but I don't think I'll get flinched that often. There we go. Nope. Alright. That was okay. That was such a... I hate Roar. It's such a stupid move. Stop. I give up. I'll leave peacefully. I don't believe you. Did I actually get Dig? Does Dig count as one of those ones they actually give you? Because I know the randomizer doesn't change them. Oh, cool. Uh, mm, no, I don't need a ground move. Uh, we'll try to teach Aerial Ace if any of them can learn it, but they can't. Skill swap is useless because abilities are ridiculous now. Uh, water Pulse could be cool. I know Tyranitar can learn Water Pulse. Or I think he can. I know he can learn Blizzard. Um, I thought he could learn Water Pulse, too. But... It'll just save it until then. Alright. Oh, you know what I should do? I should put a Pokemon in the... Uh... Oh, stop. I didn't want to do that. Now they're super healed. Perfect. Um... Oh, I should put one in the, po in the daycare. Oh my god, I, I'm moving too fast. I hate this. <laughs> stop it. Very clearly pressing right on the analog stick and it's not registering. That's why I shouldn't have done the analog, but the D-pad is annoying too. I mean, it really shouldn't be playing with the controllers, what it comes down to. But, oh my god, I did it again. I'm gonna keep doing this. This is the, ne this is the part for the next 20 minutes, just me running into buildings I don't need to go into. And then running down ledges I shouldn't jump down. There we go, I had to be careful. Cut, can't go through there yet. Uh, can't go through there yet. Ooh, this is Route 5, this is technically a new route. So, uh, chance a new Pokemon. Sableye. Uh, yeah, why not? Great. I love when my attacks don't do anything. It's... it's I need got Flame Body? Why? Ugh. I should just switch to, uh, Ivysaur. He at least has Sleep Powder. It'll be much better for me. Um... Come on, don't do not do this to me. Just, oh my god. Hit, come on. 
Now he's going to wake up first turn. It's going to be really bad and annoying. Alright, my tackle shouldn't kill it. I think Sableye is like the... Ooh, that was close. Also, you fucking would, Sableye. Just sleep. Sleep, you bastard. Okay. Um, he totally woke up on one turn. Let's just all bear witness to that. I don't understand how Pokemon can sleep, or how can they can, how they can escape when they're asleep. Poison and paralyzed, I can kind of understand, but sleeping, it's like they shouldn't even be able to move. Like, <sighs> if it does, Arg almost had it one more time. Be fucking pissed. <sighs> I'm not even gonna use it. Maybe if it's not asleep, it'll be better. Now let's stay woke. Nope. Oh my god. I'm not even going to use it. Why am I still trying this? Oh my god. I'm going to freak out. Especially if it kills me. Are you kidding me? The only reason I knew Nightshade wouldn't kill me is Nightshade's uh, move like Seismic Toss, where it does. The damage it does is equal to the level of the Pokemon. Uh, and it's fixed, so I knew it was only going to do 13 damage. Um, not too worried. Now stay the fuck asleep. Should use Dream Eater just to rub it in. Just kill him that way. <sighs> that's seven Pokeballs I've wasted. It's ridiculous. This is Pokemon at its core right here. Thank you. God damn it. This bullshit just absolutely should have having caught it, but it just wasn't. Um, what to name it? Hmm, so many good choices. Um, hmm. How do I properly express my anger right now? Also, the arrows work. I didn't. Why? I didn't even know the arrows could work. Um. All right. So I've been using the analog for no reason. I could just switch back and forth. How did I map both of them? That's weird. All right. I wonder who else I could have caught there. I know that's like the first fight you can find me out. Normally. Alright, you can take a plant god. Heal his burn while you're at it. <laughs> Alright. Um, that's enough for that. I don't know. I still know how the daycare works. If it's based on steps, it's probably steps. Um, I wonder if battles count too. I, I have no idea. I'm sure there's a formula for it somewhere. Alright. What are we at? 32 minutes? Yeah, it's time to take on Misty. I will fight... Even though you don't have to, I will fight in their gym. You can totally just walk around. It's amazing. I think you can... No, you can't swim. No, there's a way to walk around, isn't there? I thought there was. Oh, there's just like... If you wanted... To, oh, I, I walked right up to it. But if you wanted to, I think you can um, just loop around. You shouldn't have to fight any of the trainers, but... It's good XP, so I'll do it. No, mid Mudkip, it actually like makes sense. Stop missing. Uh, I forget what moves you can do to uh, make those hit every time. I know there's a way to like make it 100%. I don't remember what it is. I don't know if it's Sunny Day. I don't think it is. Um, if I can land these two, then no matter if my tackles can't hit them, I can still do major damage. Did I actually get rid of... Oh, I got rid of Vine Whip because I was expecting to learn a better move. But I, for I forgot Grass in like, the early gens. is was like, not even close to... The fire and water Pokemon, because there's just not enough moves. I think the best you can hope for is like Petal Dance, Solar Beam. Uh, there's no like Fire Flamethrower or um, Surf equivalent. Neat. Uh, no. <laughs> of course he's got Drizzle. Why not? Ah. <sighs> I feel like if I was gonna randomize their types, I should have randomized the moves too. I just, I just it keeps going back to it. I thought you think I'm gonna go apart where I don't mention it, but I'm not. I can't stand that I randomize the types. I like I'm so annoyed with myself for doing it. All right, so this is not gonna go well because my accuracy is super down. So I'm swapping Reptar. Gotta grab that item off Fuckhead and see what he's got. All right. Nope. This wide range of moves. 
None of them fucking work. I think, yeah, someone said in the comments that right now, uh, my Tyranitar is actually a pretty good move set, where it's like he can pretty much cover all of the bases. Um, I like that. I should switch. Well, he's actually fine now, I guess. He's not damaged or anything. Well, you are more than good enough for you. Misty won't have to be bothered. Uh, you're that type, right? Rich girl came right. <laughs> Another Growlithe, okay. I'm gonna poison your Growlithe like I poisoned the last one. If your Growlithe used Roar, I'll be so pissed. Uh, okay, um, I just do Poison Leech Seed combo. Literally the worst kind of person. <laughs> um, yeah, it's just slow, agonizing death. Just watch your dog slowly get poisoned and life sucked out of it to death. I don't know how Leech Seed works. I assume it's like Wi Fi. The seeds like take the HP and then like transmit it back. I, that's the only way I can think of that makes sense. Alright, well, I don't really need to heal up. Um, now you're going to face all those trainers who have a policy, but Pokemon can turn pro. What is your approach when you catch a trainer? Pokemon policy is an all defensive with water type. Five bucks says she doesn't have water types. Bug catcher Jimmy. <laughs> Trico. Trico looks huge for its character sprite. It's weird. I wonder if it's immune to poison. Well, it's not, it's not grass type now, so it's fine. Alright. And then Leech Seed. The Wombo combo. Ooh, it's got Pursuit. That's not a good sign. Uh, and it'll also be bad if I try and uh, switch out. I think Pursuit does extra damage if you switch out. I should get rid of this as soon as possible. Uh, well, I'm healing myself, so it's not too bad. Um, could be worse. I only got to survive for like one or two more attacks. Uh, I hate that uh, tr the harder the trainer, like more the like actually use the Pokemon skills. Dugong. Uh, yeah, I'll switch to Tyranitar. Why not? I, or I should say Larvitar. Getting ahead of myself. Bite. Nope. I don't know why I thought this would be okay. Oh my god, I'm so scared. Okay. I don't... At least that got rid of its piercing, or should have. Also, she totally has a dark type. Or she totally has a... Um, a nice type. Nope. Please stop. Don't kill me. Okay, it does less now. That's good. Um, I gotta poison it. It's the only chance I'm gonna have here. Okay, I could probably die if I don't heal him. Oh, this is too much. I hate. I actually have to think. Don't make me do this. Stop. I don't. I think a Ruby missed 15 moves. Maybe I can outlast that. Ugh, it's fast too. Stop missing. I literally can't afford for you to miss. Thank you. I wonder if she has a full restore. Hopefully not. Okay, so now I can sort of... I don't have that many left. That's not good. God, it's the only move it's using because they know I'm weak against it. It's like they know the types. That's not fair because I don't know their types. Okay. Strategies in place. I can sort of deal with this now. Okay, slowly... Tackle here. Unless it crits. Yeah, now it's a normal type. Okay. Just gotta survive. Oh man. Forgot they could do that. Alright, at least I healed a little bit. And they're still poisoned. As long as they don't use a full heal, I'll be fine. Um Okay, so we got double whammy, we got that. Poison, I should be able to kill it next turn. Alright, please don't kill me. No crits, no crits. <sighs> okay. Man, ice types just have my number, and there's so many of them. I keep running into them. Cascade Bag makes all Pokemon up to level 30 obey. That includes even outsiders you get in trades. There's more you can now use cut anytime outside of battle. Cut. I know how cut works. You can tell me that's water pulse, but I know it's not. She gave me. TMO3. No, oh, I just have two water pulse. Okay, she actually did give me water pulse. Alright. Um, that was good. Close calls, but overall okay. Could be a little smoother, but what can you do? Let's look. I want to see what item um, Sableye has. Wait, 
He's a fighting dark type. That's actually pretty cool. What his moves? Uh, he does have Nightshade, which I like. Uh, I don't think he learns any dark types, though. Take Star Piece. Nice. I can use that. I do have to go to the Pokemon. If I don't go to the Pokemon now, I will forget the next part, and then I'll be stranded with no healing items again. It'll be bad for all of us involved. Uh, sell that nugget. Sell the star piece. Uh, no, I need that, just in case. Um, also out of paralyzed heals. Um, alright. Pokeball. Give me ten. I wasted them all in Sableye. Okay, I'll do ten. And then paralyzed heal. Couple. I don't know how many antidotes I have, so just give a couple. Uh, escape rope. I have enough. Okay. All right. Well, that's the end of this part. Um, I figure we can, I figure we get cut, and now you get on the SSN. Um, it's so weird that they wait so long to give you the first HM. Um, did I heal? Yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah. Oh, I almost did it again. Um, I think we're good for now. I'll, um, there's the bike path I could go down. Oh, I wonder if I can get the bike now. Fuck, I keep trying to end the episode. And fuck, let's <laughs> keep checking things. Uh, when is it okay to get the bike? I don't remember. Hey, bike. Alright, not yet. I don't remember how I get it. Um, I know how to get it in gold. <laughs> you try out the bike and eventually it's just like, ah, keep it, it's fine. Uh, and I think I'm not in Ruby and Sapphire. I forget who gives it to you, but it's like a. That's when you can choose between like the mock bike or the acro bike. Um, all right. This is the underground path. Is this way? I'll do the underground path the first time, and the second time I'll go like the normal way. You have a Dratini traded for my Glalie? No. If I had a Dratini, I would not be giving it for a Glalie. Get out of here. Alright, that's it. Thank you guys for watching, and uh, tune in for the next one.